Okay, so this is the yard I took on last year from a guy. Uh, he was getting out of the business and everything, so. Um, I wasn't too particular about it because of the area, but I mean, it's, it's a decent. The neighbors seem nice. They haven't really came out and yelled at me, and that's a good sign. When it rains, it's got a nice little concrete creek that runs through it, and I can get in it and wash my tires off and clean my deck out, and uh, that's, a, that's a big plus, especially springtime, because uh, those decks get real nice and caked up on the insides. So that's something I definitely like to do at this spot, and it just drains it on down and goes and goes and winds up coming out of the creek somewhere. Uh, but this is a good place to wash everything off. <laughs> so I'll see you here in a few. So these were given to me by a guy who had decided he wanted out of the business last year. Um, he wanted to cut back he kept a couple of his nicer accounts um his better paying accounts and stuff like that a few commercial and stuff like that but he wanted to start getting rid of his residentials and stuff and he gave me probably 12 yards or something like that um as a package and just uh, it didn't cost me anything he just he said he wanted somebody who was pretty trustworthy and uh it was a guy he worked with my mom for a little while uh he knew her and you know there was a good bond there and you know he found out i was you know pretty trustworthy and uh somebody who was gonna take care of his clients so um all of them have stayed on schedule for the year um there were some price increases and i think that might might have been a reason he was wanting to get out of of it because he had some that he'd had for 10 plus years that he had not gone up on the price so there were a couple of $30 yards um, you know that took me and Will too long for $30 we'll just put it that way so we winded up keeping all the accounts this year I did go up on some of the prices some of them were were decent in price so I left them there um, but we will probably be going up um, within either next year or the year after or something like that but for the most part they were they were good so we are off to another one and i'm gonna start getting some footage
there are bees everywhere. There's a wasp. They are nectarizing the hell out of this holly right now. Will said he got stung twice. Look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna try and get as close as I can. I'll probably get stung. How pretty. This thing is smelling really good too, so no wonder they're all all around it. There are all kinds of bees. And they just doing what they do. Getting their nectar. Pollination season is upon us. So, I got whipper wheel into the dipper wheel. Yeah, buddy. I got stung by a couple of bees. A little boom here, a little boom there. <laughs> Dude, right there, look like you got hit by a vampire. Now it does. So, now I told him, I said, uh, so, hey man, jump in the truck and get you a dip. And, uh, ain't nothing little stokers can't cure, <laughs> baby. I said, put you a little dip on there. That nicotine will suck the poison out. Also, if you smoke cigarettes and you feel like wasting one, you can uh, <laughs> tear it apart and wet the tobacco and the nicotine will suck the poison out of it. So, uh, technically that's a nature minute. Sound like a nature minute? Sounds like one to me. That's a nature minute for you guys. <laughs> Unintentional. Unintended nature minute. If you get stung by a bee, put your good old pinch of stokers or whatever your brand of choice is. And uh, y'all have a good day.